С эзотерической точки зрения, From an esoteric perspective, why do some people tend to accept without question the conspiracy theories that have blossomed so lavishly in recent decades? Oh, that's a good question. A great one, especially now. When the conspiracy theories blossom, when there is a lack of information, and when is there a shortage of information? When that information is either withheld or deliberately distorted. Contrary to convention, it would be a big mistake to presume that people are a bunch of illiterate idiots. Well, we talked about this once before. Perhaps people really don't know some things. Many lack education, some lack experience, life experience. Or maybe, due to the organization of the soul, there's still a certain naivete telling people that they live in a democratic society and that they're receiving three extra pennies that they welfare office is no big deal. But still, people have intuition, and sometimes it works better than any kind of knowledge. And it is intuition before anything else that points out to people where they are being lied to. Conspiracy theories usually flourish where the soil has been well fertilized by total lies. Once such theories start to develop, it's like a backlash. The pendulum swings in the direction of searching for different information. And when does the pendulum swing? When the false component in the informational current goes off the scale and exceeds the reasonable limits. It just becomes clear, like, guys, you can't just lie so damn much anymore. It's over the edge. And it is clear that there are lies, and there are dirty lies, and there are statistics, and there's also the news propaganda channel. When the lies begin to run rampant, that's when conspiracy theories start to blossom. Well, here's the interesting thing. Recent years of experience have shown that a good many of conspiracy theories all of a sudden are actually more true compared to what we've been told so far by all the mass disinformation sources as well as propaganda and other wrongdoings against the human mind. To put it simply, do not lie. If there wouldn't be so many lies, there wouldn't be so much conspiracy. People feel they're being lied to and look for a different source of information, usually a diametrically opposite one. That is, if the state claims there's a virus, people will go looking where it's said to be none. If the propaganda says that we live in a democratic society with a constitution and rights, they will look for the ones that say that we don't, that there is a tripartite commission, the Club of Rome and other orders that task themselves with destroying all of mankind, reducing it by 95% or whatever it is that it is being told to us as of late. I mean diametrically opposite. Everything is diametrically opposite. The more one side lies, the more justified people are in their decision to trust other information sources. If there were less lies, there would be less conspiracy theories. So that's the reason. The pendulum usually swings both ways. The more it swings to one side of lying, the more it will swing to the other direction, diametrically opposite of the exact same lying. The truth, as usual, is somewhere in the middle. Realize that everybody lies and try to find what they agree on. The two viewpoints, where do they coincide? That would be the approximate golden mean, which would be more or less close to the truth. Trust no one in the first place, trust your own gut, your own sanity. Remember that the spooky story on one side is just as false as the spooky story on the other side. 
and try to find the middle ground, which is most likely to be closer to the truth than the two of them. Although sometimes there are exceptions. A grain of truth can be found in some pieces of information on both sides. But no one will help you here more than your own personal intuition. Which, of course, you have to develop, respect, nurture within yourself, and probably treat it as if it were your only prized possession that belongs to you and you alone and no one else. And so if you look at it that way, then probably all the conspiracy and false propaganda, official and unofficial information, all of that will become clear to you to a greater extent. And you'll better understand why it's being done. And you will see that when there is a war, everybody lies. And that war is not necessary about blood and bombs and killing. Sometimes it's an informational war, quiet, deceitful, with smiles and lying. And I don't really know which is worse. Because one kills fair and the other kills deceitfully, but it kills nonetheless.